Hello everyone, Tutu Mora here with The Why, bringing you tools to feel well in your body, mind, and spirit. Today, we are going to be showing you a very relaxing style of breath work that allows us to just reach for more space within our body. So sometimes when we're feeling tense or we're feeling stressed or really focused on something other than our body, we can lose sight of how much space there is. We can kind of feel a little constricted, muscles become tense and tight, and we don't get to use our diaphragm and the space that's available to us within our body to its fullest extent. So we're gonna explore that as a way to ease up some tension, to get moving in the diaphragm instead of having um, breathing up in the high chest so that we can calm our nervous system and again, just feel this sense of how much space there is to really be with and breathe within in our body. So I'm gonna have you start, you can lay down, you can sit down, you can stand, but we're really just gonna bring our hands anywhere on the front of the body. So you can start with them over your belly if that feels good. You can kind of have a hand on your chest or your belly wherever your hands fall that feels most comfortable for you. But I want you to think about just the front plane of your body. So thinking about where your hands are, and I want you to feel like you are breathing forward into the front of your body. Almost like with your inhale, you're puffing out your body forward in front of you. I'm feeling that space expand as you inhale and soften back towards your midline as you exhale. And let's just be with that for a moment, feeling that spaciousness of the front plane of your body. And then you can let yourself return to normal breath. And however it feels comfortable for you, you can bring your hands around to the back. So maybe that looks like bringing your hands back behind you. Maybe that looks like just um, feeling your hands somewhere on the back line of your body, but just feeling a tactile cue, even if this means as you're laying down, you feel the mat beneath you or the bed beneath you. Maybe you're sitting and you feel your back against a chair or a wall. So use whatever feedback is available to you and let's breathe back into the back body. Almost like you are puffing out the back of your body down into the mat beneath you or back into the wall behind you, back into your hands behind you, but just feeling that plane of your body and breathing into it, making new space into that plane of your body with your breath. And just be here for a moment, exploring. And sometimes the back body can feel a little tricky or weird to breathe into. So just taking your time and knowing that it's gonna feel a little different from breathing into the front of the body. And then letting yourself return to normal breath here. And we're gonna give a little feedback to the left side of our body. So however that wants to be for you, you can place a hand on one side of your rib cage. You can place it kind of down by your hip or up further along your rib cage, but somewhere just giving yourself some tactile feedback of that left side of your body and let's breathe out into that left side as if you are puffing out the left half of your rib cage, feeling that space widen with your inhale and soften with your exhale. And so just being with this for a moment, staying with this side of your body,
and then letting yourself return to normal breathing, but bringing your awareness or that tactile feedback to the right side of your body. And starting to breathe out into the right, maybe noticing does it feel easier to breathe into the right side or the left side, but just being with this experience here and seeing if you can expand that right side of your rib cage, puffing it out, feeling it widen with your inhale and softening with your exhale. And sometimes when we engage in the breathing this way, we can feel a stretch in places that we really didn't know were feeling tight. And so if you're feeling some of this as a stretch through your low back or down into your sacrum, just kind of using that as some feedback for how you've been existing in your body today or just like in the afternoon or the morning, but just, you know, knowing that breathing is using muscles and so feeling how we create space might alleviate the tension through some muscles and start to activate different ones. Now let yourself return to normal breathing here and let's use all four of these spaces that we've we're breathing into. So we can almost think about our trunk or our rib cage like a barrel. And so as you breathe, let's feel that you get to breathe into both sides of your rib cage, that you get to breathe front to back. Utilize all these different planes of being as you breathe. Now we're gonna add one more plane of breathing, but I want you to stay with this feeling of breathing into the barrel of your rib cage. And as you're breathing in this 360 way, let's see if we can also breathe up and down so that you are spreading wide, but you also feel like that breath gets to reach down in towards your feet up towards the crown of your head. And sometimes that can take a little imagination, but explore what that sensation feels like through your breath. So let's try that out. Breathing and feeling this softening in from all four of those uh, front, back, side to side, but also feeling that softening from above and below. So that when we inhale, it really is this 360 feeling, this exploration of how much space can I create within my body through my breath. And let's just take a few here. Now, what I love about this practice is that it's not solely about a pattern of breathing. It's really about feeling. It's about feeling into sensation when we breathe into different parts of our body. And so it really gets to be this practice of interacting with spaces that can feel really tense and grippy due to stress, due to X, Y, and Z movement patterns or life in general but we get to explore what it feels like to interact with those spaces and gently invite in a sense of spaciousness and softening, relaxation, where we might have been tense and holding. So it really gets to be this play with sensation and this discovery of what things feel like in your body and just sitting with what's here. So in that way, it can also be a little shift in terms of mindset or even letting go of some anxiety or some um, nervous system activation when we slow down and we're with our senses and we're with uh, sensation and curiosity this way. So definitely incorporate this where it feels right. It can be just a nice way to take a moment for yourself and feel when you feel like you've been up in your brain all day. So thank you so much for joining. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you back here next time on the Wise Recharge With Us From Home series. Take care.